Picture this. You're invited to a party and you're asked to bring one side dish. What do you bring? You want something that's delicious, that everyone will love, but something that's not too complicated. Well, I have the perfect option for you. What could be this delicious and simple, you ask? Seven layer bean dip. You wanna start by making sure you wash your hands. The next step would be to be sure that you have all of your utensils and all of your ingredients ready. In this case, for the utensils, all you really need is a good dish, a good sharp knife, a big spoon, and a cutting board. Once you have everything prepared and ready, and you have all of your ingredients ready, you want to begin, begin preparing the actual bean dip. The first ingredient that you would want to use, refried beans. You can use whatever brand you might like, and you begin by just spooning it out, putting them into the bottom of the pan, and smoothing them out. Refried beans are actually high in fiber, very low in saturated fats. They're a good source of protein as well as vitamin C. The only bad thing is that they're high in sodium. Once you get them all smoothed out onto the bottom of the pan, you can begin preparing your next ingredient, which is going to be sour cream. It doesn't need to look pretty. It's just going to be at the very bottom. It's gonna get covered by six other ingredients. Seven layer bean dip is very popular party food. It can be made a bunch of different ways. Some people make it hot, some people make it cold. Some people use different ingredients. Okay, once everything's spread out, you can grab the sour cream. Just do a couple dollops and once again spread it into the bottom of the pan. Once it's all spread out, you want to get your next ingredient ready. The next ingredient is your favorite salsa. Be mild, medium, hot, however you like it. And you just Put enough on there to get enough in every bite. You want to spread it nice and thin, evenly over the whole bottom layer. A couple spoonfuls should do. Just make sure that there's enough for everyone to get some. You want to get enough to where there's some on every chip. The next ingredient, cheese. You want to do shredded cheese. I like to use cheddar. You can use whatever kind of cheese you like that can go with the Mexican theme. Um, I use cheddar because it gives a nice, nice kick. There's good flavor to it. You just put enough to cover the whole top. Nice good layer. Once again, you want enough to where there's going to be some on every chip. Just spread it out evenly, best you can. Okay. The next ingredient 
is the tomatoes. Now with the tomatoes, you can use two and a half um, medium sized tomatoes. You wanna just dice them up to where they're small chunks. And you can just slice it up. Just enough to where you don't get a huge bite of tomato in every bite, but a good, a good chunk. Just slice up each tomato. small cubes. Make sure they're all pretty even pieces. And then you can go ahead and scoop them in and distribute them evenly throughout the whole top of the mixture. So you have the tomatoes in and spread evenly, you want to add the green onions. Now with the green onions, you really only need the top parts. So you want to dice them up. It's easiest if you hold them all in a bunch, like so, and just dice them along the very top. In small chunks. Again, you don't want to get a big chunk of it. You just want you just want enough to where it flavors each bite. Once you have enough green onions, you want to scoop them up, distribute them evenly in the pan, and this is the next layer. You want to get a good amount in there, enough to flavor every bite. The last step is to add the olives. Once you add in the olives, they can be just sliced green or sorry, black olives. You want to add them in. Just once again, just a good good even layer at the top. One to two small cans will do, just depending on your taste. Once it's done, you are left with a very delicious dish that everyone loves. And you can serve it chilled. You can serve it straight right after you're done making it. Just get your favorite tortilla chips, put them out alongside. You can take them to the party, set them out, and everyone can dig in. Um, by following these steps, you can end up with a delicious and easy side dish that's great for any party. It's great for any get-together and is sure to be a favorite. We began by preparing all the steps, preparing all of our utensils, and putting them together in the correct order, and we ended by having this lovely snack. Um, this is a mouth-watering dish that everyone, everyone really loves. It's great at all, all kinds of parties, get-togethers, anything you might need to take it to. And the last step would be to bring it to your party and enjoy the yummy snack. There is a close-up shot, just so you can see the colors once it's all put together.